Question number five, Matt Ducey. My question is to the Minister for Social Development and asks, what measures will help engage New Zealanders in the care and protection of vulnerable children as part of the overhaul of child, youth and family? The Honourable Anne Tully. Mr Speaker, we need to ensure that all New Zealanders support our vulnerable children, as they're not SIF kids, they're our kids. To do this, work is underway on a strategy that engages all New Zealanders on how they can support children and young people in care. A national awareness campaign will build an understanding of what good care looks like, enable people to take action to support our vulnerable children and champion their voices across our agencies and communities so that they can live successful lives. Bernardos have said that they agree wholeheartedly that we must all step up. Ensuring that no child gets left behind involves all New Zealanders. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Matt Ducey. What other measures will help encourage New Zealanders to care and support vulnerable children? Mr. The Honourable Anne Tolley. Ensuring our caregivers have the right support to provide long-term, loving and stable homes for children and young people is vital if we are to help them thrive. To do this, a recruitment strategy is being developed to attract a wider pool of quality caregivers. They will receive more help, including increased financial support and quicker access to services. Additionally, national care standards will be introduced so that there is a clear expectation for the standard and quality of care. Together, these measures will help ensure that children and young people find a loving and stable home at the earliest opportunity, allowing them to live successful lives. Question number 